Hi everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome and welcome back to Angela's Fashion Mix. I hope you all had a fantastic day and if you are new, welcome to the channel and I do hope you enjoy your time here. I've got a lot going on today and I'm starting with the follow-up to the giveaway. There are two people that did not respond at all within the time frame or since. So I told you last video that I will have to do another drawing to select two new winners and I'm announcing who those two new winners are. You will also have 48 hours to respond to this video. Let me know that you know you won and I will have my email in the description box as well as pinned in my comment on this video. So two places that you will see that your name was selected randomly as a winner in the $20 gift card giveaway. So you have 48 hours to respond. So I do need to hear from you by 9 p.m. on Tuesday, January 9th. And those two new winners are first, Ansala Lee. Ansala Lee, you are a $20 gift card winner. And Lori Pop. I don't know if that's Lori Poppy or Lori Pop, but it's Lori Pop with two Ps. You are also a $20 gift card winner. Congratulations to you both. 48 hours. I will need to hear from you. My information will be in the description box as well as pinned in my comment. So I want to give a huge thank you to those of you that reached out to me for my birthday who took the moment to send me a birthday card. I really appreciate that and was quite surprised when I went to my P.O. box. That is typically reserved for my shipping with my live sales. So I don't check it every day. So I was quite surprised to see those. Thank you so very much for that. And also I received a gift card to For the Love of Chocolate. If you saw my 12 Days of Christmas, you know that chocolate is my favorite flavor above all others. There are some close seconds, but chocolate is one of my favorite things. And I was quite excited to receive the gift card. I'm going to be using that card this week. I'm using it this week. And in case you didn't know, my birthday was December 30th. I didn't make a video per se about my birthday at that time because my birthday plans were changed. I ended up attending a funeral on my birthday. I don't know that, that anything puts life in perspective more than attending a funeral on your birthday. And the service was out of town, so, so I had not had a follow-up to my birthday. I'm doing a little bit of that today but I was able to have a late lunch with my best friend at home. I actually hear on the morning, 12, 15 morning of my birthday, I started opening gifts then because I knew the day was going to be what it was. So 12, 15 on December 30th, 12 a.m., I was opening gifts. So for my birthday, my husband gave me this bag. This was one of my birthday gifts. And he always tries to throw me off as to what might be in the box. And I absolutely love this bag. It's by Calvin Klein. Has gold hardware, has lots of compartments, and it's a dark brown with the gold. And I love that. It has deep pockets. There's pockets on both sides. And I like that the strap is a little bit shorter. I like the top handle on that. And it also came with this wide strap. So I have some options there with regard to how I carry it. And I absolutely love this bag. I told him this is a grown woman's bag. I absolutely love it. And we're going to style that so you can see how that's going to work into my wardrobe. A lot of versatility with the color. And that's going to give me some flexibility in terms of creating multiple looks with this bag. What I don't have, what I don't have is a dark brown shoe, but I do have a dark brown boot. So I'm putting that into a look. For Christmas, I got this beautiful camel coat. I did this in reverse. Of course, Christmas is before my birthday, but you get it. And this was a coat that my husband gave me. So I am absolutely loving this coat and it's long. So I'm excited about that. And I'm going to be putting that into a look as well. 
So in that color, I've got a few options. I got a few bags that'll go with it. So we're gonna be working that coat when it's cold enough. It has a little bit of weight to it, but I'm gonna wear that coat, no doubt about it. And I also got Versace's Eros Perfume. It smells amazing. I'm excited about this. I've actually been wearing it a little bit. So I already know how this smells. So this is Versace's Eros. And I love the scent. I've been wearing it already. And I think something is going to get knocked off for a little while while I play with this. I also want to follow up on the Kroger post. Here you saw that I purchased a pair of boots and a shirt. And there were several questions about Kroger. There were some updates on Kroger. But I wanted to give you some stores that are also under the banner of Kroger. So I know it is Kroger here in my area. I've been told they were all closed in North Carolina, but there are some other stores that may have a similar scenario with regard to carrying clothing. And I wanna share those with you in case you didn't see my comment on that. So Kroger operates grocery retail stores under the following banners or other names. In supermarkets, it's Kroger, it's Ralph's, Dillon's, Smith's, King Supers, Fry's, QFC, City Market, Owens, JC, Payless, Baker's, Gerbes, Harris Tita, Pick and Save, Metro Market, Mariano's, and there are some others. But I just wanted to pass that along because you may be not knowing what I didn't know, which was that Kroger in the marketplace. So it seems that it's not just the regular grocery store that just has groceries. Seems like they're calling it the marketplace, which seems to have the additional items. And that's going to vary, of course, depending on where you are. And some of these stores I know are coast to coast. So what you may have in LA is going to be maybe different than what you might have in New York. But if you want to take the time to search those out and these stores are in your area, you never know what you might find because if you're new, I tell you, I shop everywhere. So now I got to keep an eye on Kroger to see what they have. And in addition to that, I am also sharing a few places I've been in the past few days. And one of those is one of the same kinds of places. It's not a grocery store, a place in which you might not expect to find what I found and it's a discount store and it's called Foremost Sales. I don't know if it's just here in the area. I have not looked to see and for what I go to that store for is office supplies. So it also carries electronics, hardware. I knew it carried dishes and restaurant dishes and all kinds of things like that. A wide variety of things as well as furniture. But what I also found in this store was a designer dress. And I'm going to show it to you in the video. It's an $800 dress. And they had it in this store. Surrounded by the dishes and the hardware and all the stuff. There is this little area for clothing. And this dress was there hanging on the racks. And there were several of them. So it wasn't like a one-off. I asked the attendant about why they had this particular item and she says randomly they get these things and a couple of months ago they had a $1,500 designer bag in a store that sells $2 dishes so you never know you just never know so I'm going to share that also one of my favorite consignment stores I went there recently and I'm sharing that just want to introduce you to that store I think I mentioned it before but I want to give you a tour of it this time, just a bit more in depth. Consider that space with regard to just adding and building your wardrobe and finding unique pieces. Consignment is a great way to do that. So I encourage that. And also I went to Saks Fifth Avenue and I have bought very few things over the years. And I still go in seasonally to see what's there. So the prices for clearance right now are up to 70% off. But what I did see was something that one of you got a fantastic deal on in my boutique sale. I know who you are. I remember it well. And 
It's the Joan Vass Sequin Blazer. So there's something similar at Saks right now. And so I'm showing you that in the video. But I'm also showing you what I have that is nowhere near what that offers. But in terms of style and how I make some selections based on higher price things that I can find a dupe or a replica of. So it's not close like that. But in terms of the feel, this is what I found. Now, this is missing about 3,000 sequins. But it's the idea. And it has a satin collar. So it's going to give me a feel that I want. And the pockets also have the satin fabric there and a single satin button. So overall, I can pull off to some degree a look with this. And this was originally $40. I paid $28 for it. So I'm cool with that. Minus the 3,000 sequins. But we, you'll get the idea. And that's sometimes what I'm looking for when I go to a Saks or some other higher end stores. If the prices for the markdowns are not to my budget, then I'm going to take what they have and see if I can find it somewhere else. Easy enough to do. May take a little time, but we can do it to be able to have some pieces like that in our wardrobe. So I'm working on a collaboration with someone here locally in the Richmond area. And the collaboration is going to be about something that we've experienced in different ways. But we're sharing our journey, our process, our experience as caregivers. I was a caregiver to both of my parents at the same time. And I want to just share how the experience went. I want to share how I process things because we are now at an age and in some cases younger. I was 43 when my dad passed. So our roles have changed. And as caregivers, I really want to just share some things with the caregivers. And even though you may not be at that point yet, it may come. So to not be blindsided by some things, I want to share in a get prepared kind of way, but also if you're already there and you're a caregiver, just to share some things. So I'll be sharing some personal experiences. The person I'm collaborating with will be sharing in a very different way, but will also share information that is going to be beneficial. But we're planning it for January 21st. So if you are anticipating being a caregiver, if you are currently a caregiver, I want you to tune into it because I think there'll be some takeaways that you can definitely find beneficial. So keep that on your calendar for January 21st and I look forward to sharing that with you. So for the holidays, we took a break from our live sales. We're coming back and we'll be back on Thursday. This coming Thursday, January 11th, will be our first live sale for 2024. And we'll have all the things and in celebration and continuation of reaching 20,000 subscribers, I will be doing something special there for the live sale on January 11th. So tune in at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here live on YouTube. And finally, I promise you, this is the last thing. So you all saw during my 12 days of Christmas um, or learned that I own a holiday decorating business. I also make custom wreaths for seasonal. You saw me install some holiday in some of my clients' homes. Uh, so about four and a half, five weeks between no in November, December, I am very busy. And for a few of those clients, I go back and take down the Christmas. So I'm sharing a couple of those today. And one of them, I'm showing very small glimpses of the space because the interior designer is in process of showcasing that house. So I couldn't show but so much. Um, but this coming Christmas for next year, I will be able to show more and what the overall look like of what I did there. And um, we're going to be doing a couple of reads for her for the coming year. And we're going to look forward to that. So 
in the other space, um, the main thing that I do at that house is the 12 foot Christmas tree. So we put it up, we went back to take it down. And this year she added lights outside um, to wrap the columns. So you'll see that. And finally, one of my commercial clients have also taken down their Christmas. So we're done with Christmas at this point. I'm not done getting my own Christmas down and put away, but we're working on that. So we're going to get that done this week and um, we'll be moving forward with 2024. I hope you all enjoy the video. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you are new, again, welcome. And I hope you come back the next time. If you have not already, please subscribe, like, and share the videos. I'm looking forward to 2024. There's a lot I want to share and... Um, I want you all to, as you always do, offer your input into what that looks like in terms of what those shares are so that we can build on what 2023 was. So I'm looking forward to the new year. I thank you all. Have a fantastic start to your week, and I will look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Everyone have a great rest of your evening, and I will see you very soon. Bye. Just came in the 